I'm Kristen Moran with the Investing News Network. Here today with me at Canvas is Ross McElroy, President and Chief Geologist for Vision Uranium. Ross, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Um, so, you've started to release assay results from your winter drill program over the past two months. Were those the results you were expecting? Yeah, they actually turned out better than what we had hoped for. Um, part of the, the goal this winter was to grow the resource from where we had left it off uh, at the end of 2014, put out our maiden resource, and we wanted to continue to expand the footprint and uh, we were successful in doing so. So the assays are coming back and they uh, show verification that what we hit was true mineralization that will be accretive to the overall resource. So things are looking good. Okay, great. Um, and how have the recent drill results changed your understanding of the resource at PLS since the release of Fission's Triple R resource earlier this year? One of the things we noticed when we came through with our, with our resource estimate is that there's a, a high-grade domain that really holds together and, uh, and we realized that we could expand on that high-grade domain. So the last part of the winter drill program was, was aimed at specifically targeting the high-grade domain, and that's really where the pounds to start adding in because at an average grade of 20% was what we saw in the resource estimate. That's, uh, I mean, that's very high grade material and that will add significantly to the overall pound. So we, we targeted that specifically and we were intersecting the high grade zone where we wanted to, expanding that, that foot for note. So they look good. Okay, great. In March, you announced a fairly significant step out hole about 550 meters west of PLS. What sort of plans are there for further delineating the area surrounding that intercept? Well, what it is, it's a brand new high grade zone that's, uh, as you say, 550 meters away from the main deposit on trend. We earlier had, uh, I guess it was five holes that were low grade mineralization into it, but now we're seeing results that are every bit as good as we have in the main part of the deposit 600 meters up. So we're really, really encouraged by these results. It's very high grade material, again, shallow near surface. Um, what we'll do in the, in the summer uh, coming up, we're going to put in another 20 holes and this will uh, go towards expanding the footprint of that zone, hopefully tying it into the main zone so we don't know it's open-ended on both sides and laterally and at depth. Um, so we want to see how close it actually comes to the, the main Triple R deposit and uh, so we'll just continue to expand it and those 20 holes will go a long way towards putting that into uh, the future resource uh, estimate on the, on the triple R deposit. Okay, and that's the summer program. When is that coming up? The summer program is going to start in July. So what we're looking at right now is a, about a $10 million program. That will give us 60 holes, 20,000 meters, and as I say, about a third of it will be focused on this new zone that we're really excited about. Okay, great. Um, you've had quite a career as a geologist, working with bigger names like BHP and Cam as well as juniors like Fisher. What does it take to make a successful discovery? It takes a team. Honestly, it, it, it sounds cliche, but it, it really does take a, a team. A number of the guys that I've built up and put together a technical team are guys that I've worked with before in BHP, in particular some uh, uranium guys too in Cameco. So it really takes a team of experts that are dedicated, want to make the discovery, able to think outside of the box, which is really how the PLS discovery was found. It was really thinking about deposits in a, in a, in a whole new way in a, in a new area. And that's what our group is, is really good at. Um, between that, you got the team, the technical team, we have the marketing team, we've got the corporate management team, the deal makers. I think, you know, you sort of need the whole package in order to be successful. That The technical guys obviously make the discovery, but everybody else in order to execute the plan. And, uh, you know, that's why Fidget's been the success that it is. Um, and conversely, what's the biggest challenge when it comes to exploring the Athabasca Basin? Well, one of the challenges is, is obviously money. We may have, as geologists, we may have great ideas on what to do, but unless you have the money and the resources uh, to back that up, it, it remains a dream that's, uh, that, you know, that you can't access. So it takes a really skilled technical team to have the ideas, and then it takes the, the money side in order to be able to fund it, provide the gasoline for the, uh, for the um, vehicle in order to go forward. So we've been able to do that. Um, I think that that's probably 
probably the challenge though. You do need a constant flow of money and, and uh, you know, you want to keep the same people on the team because there's familiarity there. That will uh, guide you toward future success, but you've got to back it up with the, with the capital in order to uh, be able to go season after season um, making discoveries. Makes sense. Um, and finally, what can we expect to see next from Fission? Well, I think a key uh, milestone for us is going to be a preliminary economic assessment study, and that's going to be due out in August or September. So we picked RPA, which is the same group that did our resource estimate um, on in, back in January. So they'll be uh, heading it up. And it's more of an engineering study that we'll start getting some economics behind the deposit to see how you mine it how viable it is and what the capital cost will be, what the operating cost will be. So it'll start painting the deposit into a, um, we'll start getting a look at the real economics behind it. And that'll be a, you know, a truly uh, important milestone for us this year. So between the summer program, which is about to embark in a month's time in early July, and the PEA, it's, it's going to be a pretty exciting second half of the year for us. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm Kristen Moran with the Investing News Network. Thank you.